All right, so today we're reviewing for the Chapter 3 test um, over Sections 3.1 to 3.6. Um, really, guys, it breaks down uh, in a lot of ways just like your quiz did. Uh, half of it's going to be equations, and half of it's going to be inequalities. Um, you do have those verbal sentences that you have to translate. You have two of those with equations and four of them with inequalities. Um, so, uh, yeah, so just be mindful of that. The rest of them are pretty much just working out uh, the equations. Uh, so you should have been working on uh, numbers 1, 4, 8, and 12. So let's go ahead and go over those. Okay, so on number 1, what do you do first to both sides? Okay, you need to subtract 5 from both sides. 7F equals 63. Divide both sides by 7. F is 9. Um, on number 4, what do you do first? Subtract 5. Now what do you do? Multiply both sides by negative 2. Z equals negative 4. Who got both of those right? Okay, good job. All right, is everybody done with 8 and 12? Okay. Not yet? Okay, so I'll give you another minute to finish numbers 8 and 12, and then we'll go over them. Okay, so first thing we need to do is distribute a property. So we multiply, uh, we distribute the negative 6, and then we need to add 90 to both sides. And now we just solve like normal. I uh, Divide both sides by negative 18. X is negative 6. Did you get negative 6? Okay, very good. Now on the next one, number 10, okay, this one's a little different because it has variables on both sides of the equation. So we uh, learned in class that which one do we want to move? The lesser value so we can avoid having a negative uh, coefficient. Okay, so which term do we move first? The negative 8 to the other side because it's the lesser. I add 8 to both sides, and I get 10n minus 6 equals 14. Add 6 to both sides, 10n equals 20, and divide both sides, and n equals 2. Okay? So just remember with the um, variables on both sides, move the lesser of the two. All right, now number 12. Okay, so when I distribute, well, this looks different. I have the same expression on both sides of the equation. What's my solution? All numbers. All numbers. Now, if, listen, if the variable is the same but it has different other numbers, then it's no solution. But this one is the exact same uh, on both sides, so it's all numbers. All numbers. All right, now I want to do number 13. Number 13 is a word problem you have to piece together to uh, figure out um, the cost for one adult ticket. So go ahead and try to piece it together. So we, we want to start with the total. What is the total? 2650. Okay. How many kids' tickets did I buy? Two times 350. Plus... Two times, don't know how many, how much the adult tickets costed, plus three times however much the popcorn was. Now, are there things that I can simplify on one side of the equation? Yeah, I can multiply those numbers out and combine their totals. Okay, so if you haven't already, go ahead and do that. All right, so we simplify both sides. And guys, we just solved this like a two-step equation. Subtract 1450 from both sides, then divide and it's six dollars each okay now you don't have to say each you can just say six dollars that's technically the label um yes jared um well the important thing is that you combine the numbers that can be combined and then you move them to the other side with the variable on one side okay um quiet please all right so now uh let's look at are y'all done with the inequalities Okay, so number 16, 18, and 20, you've got about five minutes uh, to work these. 16 and 18 should be real quick. 
Uh, number 20 might take a little bit of time. Uh, we'll go over these and then we'll do some uh, verbal sentences and we'll be done. Okay, so we need to add 18 to both sides. W is less than 8 and open dot and it goes left. Did you get it? Okay, next one. Um, okay, what happens when you have to divide by a negative? you got to flip that inequality. Don't forget to do that on your test tomorrow. So that's why it's A is greater than or equal to 1. And then you graph it. Close dot on the 1 and the arrow going to the right. All right, so on number 20, uh, we need to... All right, now here's my advice to you. I would move the lesser of the two values because I don't want to deal with a negative coefficient, okay, especially when it comes to inequalities because then I have to mess with changing my inequality sign. All right, so I added 2C to both sides, and then I added 5 to both sides. 4C is less than uh, negative 16, so C is less than negative 4. Open dot on negative 4 and arrow going left. All right, so last but not least, I want to look at uh, numbers 22 and 23. Now, on your test, the wording is going to be very similar to the wording on your quiz, okay? You're going to see the terms at least, at most, um, those that aren't as obvious as the ones here on page 158. I want you to do numbers 22 and 23 and then we'll go over them and we'll be done. All right, so look up here at number 22. Okay, greater than or equal to, but notice, guys, that there's a negative variable here. You cannot have a negative variable. You know that there's an understood one in front of the n, so that's why I divided both sides by negative one and flipped my inequality. Because when I divide by a negative, my inequality is going to be flipped. Okay, so that's how I do that. Now, on the next one... Seniors, if you help decorate the hallway um, for homecoming, you will have lunch for... Number... Oh, goodness. They keep making announcements. All right, on number 23, um, it's... It needs parentheses because it says uh, it says eight times the sum. So since there is a double operation there, you don't necessarily need to know that for your test tomorrow. So if that confuses you, don't worry about it. But this is how I would write it out and then solve. There's one more thing that I did want to include um, on the test review, and that's this word uh, a word problem. All right, it's, uh, let me just go ahead and read it. Um, I know the bell is about to ring, but uh, just bear with me. Okay, it says you have two summer jobs. In the first job, you work 20 hours a week and earn $8 an hour. In the second job, you can work as many hours as you want per week and earn $6 an hour. Here's the goal. You want to make no less than $365 per week. Okay, so here's how it breaks down. <clears throat> Just give me two minutes. Here's how it breaks down. 365 is my total. All right? But I want to make more than that. So that's why everything on the left side of this inequality has to be greater than 365. All right? So $20 a week at $8 an hour. I multiply those and I add it to $6 an hour, but I can work as much as I want. And then I would solve. Okay, <laughs> this is on the recording. I'll finish solving it on the recording. You can look at it tonight. I'll go over it tomorrow before the test. Make sure you prepare and study. Thank you. All right, so just to finish this up, I need to multiply this together, rewrite my inequality. Now I subtract 160 from both sides. And I have 6H is greater than or equal to 205. Divide both sides by 6. I need to work. Uh, at least 35 hours. 35 hours. It doesn't come out evenly. 
but I've got to work that extra hour to get me over the $365 uh, goal. All right, if you understand that, you should be good to go for the test tomorrow.